Okay, this is the kitchen sink, but I'm also talking about the laundry sink closer to the garage. I'm talking about both of these sinks. I am not talking about the bathroom lavatory basins. The bathtub, bathroom lavatory basins have clips on them, holding them in place like the manufacturer recommended. But now this guy right here, I mean, I don't even know what's holding that board up. You know? This one over here, I see there's a screw. Oh, the only reason there's a screw in that board, that's, the only reason there's a screw in that board is it's holding the high loop from the dishwasher. I get it. Well, it's not the best example. So let's go to the other prime example here. Just barrel down the hall here for a second. Give me a moment. High moisture conditions right there. High moisture conditions right there. And then come in here. This is a little better view. And even if the kitchen sink is what it is, it doesn't explain this. Sticks, just like in the kitchen, with drywall screws. And that's what's holding the sinks up. The manufacturer's installation instructions supersedes code. Code doesn't say use sticks. Put a couple sticks in there, Philip. We're going to the beer store. Oh, Doug, you're the fastest guy in the shop. I don't know. I'm getting a raise next week. That's the way we do it. They just go up there and they hold your sink. That's what's holding your sink up. That stick with those three little screws. How about that? Oh, you got a couple extra screws in that one. Little drywall screws will break and pop. And I gotta tell you, I've seen them break and pop. I've seen these sinks fall. 